This week, we're taking a look at two brand new Boston neighborhoods. One of them will soon be built at the site of the Suffolk Downs racetrack in East Boston. We'll take you there tomorrow. Tonight, we head to the fast growing Seaport District, where shiny new buildings are chock full of multi million dollar condos and high end restaurants. But good luck finding a supermarket or a fire station. Now, as Tina Martin tells us, there's an effort underway to bring basic city services to the Seaport. The new Seaport District is part of South Boston, and as lifelong resident James Garrity explains, it looks a little different from the rest of the neighborhood. Wow, it's so glamorous. It's like a casino. Everything's lit up. The architecture's gorgeous. And people want to just go there just because it's gorgeous. But unlike the rest of Southie, the Seaport's missing some basics. Not having a police station, fire station, uh, EMS location here. Uh, is a concern. City Councilor Ed Flynn, who represents South Boston, says the seaport's also missing a library, full-service supermarket, schools, and even a place to vote. Residents want um, basic city services down here. Councilor Flynn says about 10,000 people already live here on the seaport, and he expects in the next several years that number is going to double. He says now is the time to figure out how to get services into this neighborhood. But there are two lingering questions. Who is moving into the seaport and how important are things like schools and supermarkets? It's a really big mix of people, actually. Um, you'll have everything from families to young professionals. You have empty nesters that are moving in. There's a really big international group that's coming. Melinda Davala Sarkis with Caldwell Banker has a property on the market now for seven and a half million dollars and says that's not unusual. And potential buyers ask about things like schools and grocery stores. So yes, those things do come up and some are not here yet. So you just have to be really direct. But it's like Vegas, build it and they will come. Public amenities in the seaport will cost taxpayers money, but James Garrity points out residents here are paying their fair share. It brings tax revenue. We have tourists that come there and spend money. It helps our schools. It may have a different feel, but the seaport, he says, is still part of Southie. Tina Martin, WGBH News. A couple of years ago, the seaport was little more than a field of parking lots. The site of the Suffolk Downs racetrack in East Boston and Revere is now also on the verge of transformation into a whole new neighborhood with parks, businesses, and 10,000 units of housing. But as Adam Riley will tell us tomorrow, there's already concern that the new unnamed place might resemble the seaport in all the worst ways.